Welcome everybody, I'm back y'all with another video. So I decided to do a series called What's the Tea, okay? So it is, you know, going to be based on, you know, a little bit of drama, okay? A little bit of drama. So if you feel like, you know, you don't want to watch it because it's drama, then don't watch it, okay? So this is a general read. It may or may not resonate, okay? All right, it may or may not resonate. It may or may not. Let's get that clear. All right. So let's let's see. We got a lot of things to talk about. Okay, I did see one that wanted to drop, wanted to jump out. I know imprisonment uh, came out too. So someone could be um, feeling. Like they're in a prison or someone could actually be in prison. Let me get one more card. All right, there's a man here. There's a main male here. There's a main male here. Okay. Ooh. There's a man here, main man, who is, there's a message of concern coming through. There's a message of concern coming from a male. Coming from a male, okay? Um, I'm getting that someone's asking for money. We got a uh, change, sudden wealth, and a gift. Um, and keep in mind, we did have imprisonment at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, this message may be concerned with someone who is possibly incarcerated or is, um, you know, is, is feeling trapped in a situation that they can't get out of. But I am getting like someone could possibly be, you know, in prison, in jail, something to that nature. Okay, so let's see what message we have. Give me a message, please. This is for who is for, and that's that, okay? So what's the tea? What's the tea? What's going on with this person? What's going on with this male? Tell me what's going on with this person. Thank you, spirit. What's going on with this person? Reveal to me what's going on with this person. Okay, we got a wish fulfillment at the bottom of the deck there. The nine of cups. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. All right. <sighs> this person likes, um, this person really likes to have or really wants to get your attention, okay? There is something that they need. We got the nine of pentacles there. There's something that they need, okay? There's something that they need. I'm getting for some of you, this is a king of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, definitely Gemini with the lover's card here. And I got some pentacles here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Why is the nine of pentacles here? Yeah, see, they're thinking of, um, thinking about later, like what's something that they need later. They do want to talk. They do want to reach out. I'm sorry, y'all. They do want to reach out. Mm. I feel like they feel like they don't have anybody else to talk to. Or someone who's going to move as quickly as you do. Okay. Someone's mother 
could be involved or an aunt or a sister. But they feel like, um, you know, reaching out to you would be best. There's a message of concern. Why is the Six of Wands here? Yeah, it's like everybody's attention. Everybody's attention, okay? It's like everybody's always looking at them so negative. Um... And or they're afraid of this person. So they feel left out. Like they don't have anybody else to go to. Yeah, the hermit. They feel like they don't have anybody else to go to. And the queen of swords. Like they, they feel cut off. They feel cut off. They may come to you and say. They may come to you and say like. Well, you know, look, I've, I've made some changes. But be careful. Be careful because I got the seven of swords here. This person could be good at, at you know, at saying the right things. Okay. All right. Yeah, see, we got the four of pentacles and the lovers. This is saying, like, you know, this person is still holding on to you. They're still holding on to you. They haven't let you go. They aren't ready to let you go. I'm getting this. You may visit them or they're going to ask you to visit them. Ask them. They're going to ask you to come visit them. I, I really feel like this is a message for, for someone who's dealing with someone who's, you know, either at a distance. It's definitely someone that's at a distance. Or this is someone who is, you know, in prison or in jail. Okay, why is judgment here? Yep, the emperor. They had to go to court or to see a judge in the past. Yep. Yeah. Somebody pissed them off. Yep. Now going ahead, they're worried. They're extremely worried. Okay, and they're extremely worried. Because, see, they got to go back to court. They have to pay for something here. Like, they're thinking that they're worried about money, how they're going to balance something out. And they feel like they don't have anybody. That's the King of Swords here. Yeah. Mm hmm. They're calling. They're calling. Maybe they've been trying to reach out to family. Yep, they want to talk. They want to communicate with you. They definitely want to communicate with you. If they, if there's a King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or someone that is, um, I'm just getting like they, they want to reach out to you. They want to talk to you. They don't have anybody else. The Four of Cups and the Three of Cups. They don't have anybody else to talk to or ask for money or who's willing to help them. Yep. Financially, four of swords. You could be feeling like you're tired of trying, tired of putting in so much as effort. I'm getting that this person. You may look at this person like you know they did. They did what they did. Five of swords and the king of wands. Like this is kind of like the bad boy image, bad girl image. What's the nine of wands here? Yeah, and they're coming like you know I didn't do anything, uh, you know. <sighs> I'm getting somebody. That, they just got a bad reputation. They got a bad reputation, but the outcome is the King of Pentacles and the Empress and the Star. They're hoping that you'll look out for them financially. Or someone here could possibly find out that they're pregnant, okay? The Empress and the Star is definitely like a, a indication of a pregnancy. And we got the moon, the moon and the stars. But I'm definitely, I'm definitely getting like, they're hoping that you stick by them, that you stay solid, that you, and I feel like they, they look at you as a special person, you know? They look at you as you're very special to them. It's very unique, very special. 
But I feel like you're getting to a place where you're, you know, you're tired of trying with this person. You're tired of trying with them. But they need some type of help. They need your help. And they feel like only you can do it. They feel like only you can do it. Only you can do this. What message? What message is there? What message do you have? What message do you have? Communicate clearly. Give me two more messages. Thank you. Give me one more. We got perfect timing. And then we have forgiveness there at the bottom of the deck. And then we have meditation brings answers. Okay, so let's see. Communicate clearly. Oh, what? Well, jeez. <laughs> Communicate clearly. Yeah. See, the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. That's very happy news. Like, very positive energy. And we got the Empress here. So someone's baby mother, this is like someone's baby, someone's baby mother, baby father situation. For some of you, this is like a, a mother, someone's mother could be involved or an aunt or a sister. Um, I'm getting like, that's what I'm getting. It's like before you leave, before you leave, ask somebody something. The lovers and the king of swords. I'm telling you, I'm getting Gemini's energy a, a lot. I got Pisces here too. I'm getting somebody's running to you. Running to you. I want to run to you. You. Like, I'm just getting it. Like, somebody's running to you with their problems. Like, they're bringing you their problems. They're running to you with their problems, wanting you to fix it. But see, this is the thing. I don't like this energy. The devil and the seven of swords. Like, this person is, like, trouble. They're trouble. Like, they're trying to get everybody to come together and, you know, work together and be on their side. But it's just like, I don't know. Yeah, see, right now, Ten of Swords with perfect timing, that's saying, uh-uh, right now is not the perfect time. This person is trying to get your attention um, and trying to get you to worry about them and what they got going on. Yeah, because they know that you, you get stuff done. You handle things. You get stuff done. But somewhere along the line, yeah, yeah, I'm getting... Uh, someone's moving really slow, but it's nothing that you can do about it. It's nothing that you can do about it. Um, someone meditation brings answers. We got the justice card here. Okay, so they may have to wait until they go to court or wait till they talk to a judge. But I'm getting somebody's talking real negative. Like they're they're speaking really negative. Like they're the way they explain is just the way they explain things are extremely negative. Yep. See, they hoping that you'll be able to help them. And it has something to do with finances. I'm pretty sure. Like it has something to do with finances. Okay. So y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Wow. And I will chat with y'all later. Ciao.